Ah, here we go. Two titans of the early 2000s. On this side, we have a 1.4 gigahertz Thunderbird AMD CPU. And on this side, we have a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium 3 to Latin CPU. Um, I just kind of, I've seen some debate on which chip is faster, or, uh, so I just kind of wanted to do a little video and put two of these boards up against each other. Now, I have t t a couple projects in the work, and uh, these both of these boards are going to be going into some project builds that I'm doing, but before I did that, I just wanted to kind of face them off, uh, try to make them as similar as possible, and see which one comes out on top. Um, now, I really don't know you know which one is going to or if they're going to be very similar I've read different things um, I'm gonna try to get the RAM the same they're both via chipsets um, though this board I think is a little bit more server oriented so yeah so these both use uh, via chipsets although obviously they're a little different this is uh, based on the Pentium 3 this is based on the AMD Thunderbird um, so they're both running at the same gigahertz speed now like I, I've heard different things about these chips I know the AMD uh, sometimes says people say it's probably going to be a little bit faster than the Pentium 3 to Latin um, but it runs hotter um, then again the AMD chip here has um, 3D Now instruction set, which may help in some older games, uh, but the Pentium 3 has SSE uh, instruction set, which may help in later games. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going to happen here or how close these are going to be. Uh, I'm going to use the same uh, video card, and then we're going to just run some benchmarks and some games, and we're going to see how these two uh, chips perform against each other. Now, of course, if you try to do these tests, violet mileage may vary, uh, different chipsets, different motherboards, so um, just keep that in mind. So this is really just going to be like in general. Uh, so uh, let's look at the video card we're going to use. Okay, for the graphics card, I think I've settled on using this guy. Uh, this is the GeForce 6800 OC, and that's pretty much just because it's the fastest card I currently have that's AGP and that has full Windows 98 driver support, uh, since I will be doing the benchmark and game testing in Windows 98 SE. Uh, there is the uh, 7800 GeForce, uh, which I do have in AGP form, but uh, it only has like you have to get hacked or modified drivers for Windows 98 which I don't really want to mess with now this will have some incompatibilities with some Windows 98 games uh, for instance palette 8 bit palletized textures I believe certain games maybe fog tables or whatnot but we're not really concerned about that so uh, all right all right so here we have a uh, benchmark for Final Fantasy. 11 running in the background. Uh, I think this came out to basically at the time that game came, it was an online mul massive multiplayer game and it came out I think just to see if your people's computers could run it. I've never used it before I wanted to use something different. Um, quickly about this video I almost didn't make it or at least I made it and then I almost didn't put it out uh, just because I'm not really happy with it. Um, I just kinda cranked it out when I did it. I don't think I did enough benchmarks um, after I did the video and I took the computers apart and I started building other projects with them, I realized almost all of the benchmarks I did were synthetic benchmarks, and I really want to kind of get a... I still want to do synthetic benchmarks. They have their place, um, but I really want to do more games, uh, getting the benchmarks from games, just because I think it represents a lot more real-world usage. Uh, problem is, just doing benchmarks, especially like in games, it can be a little bit... It's it's it can't it doesn't seem like it is but it can be a bit of work, uh, especially doing the same games over, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of games that have like built-in benchmarks and you just have to like run something like Fraps or MSI Afterburner and like record the frame rates and and figure out them you know I, I think a lot of them there's an option that will it will show your minimum and average and maximum but I haven't actually done that yet so. But it's just it's just a bit of work, and it's something I want to do more in the future, and it's something I wanted to do with this, and I didn't. I think I actually bench used only like like two games for benchmarks, like actual games, like Quake in DOS and um, MDK, which is MDK2, which is actually another game benchmark 
uh, I actually never used before, but I used for this project. Um, I guess this sort of counts, because this isn't really a synthetic benchmark. It, this is kind of like representative of the Final Fantasy XI game, so I guess, I guess this benchmark sort of counts maybe as a game benchmark. I don't know. Let me know what you think, but... Yeah, I, I almost didn't publish this, but I, I it's been like three weeks, and I'm, I actually don't have anything else. I have a bunch of other projects that are like in mid-states of completion, and I wanted to put something out, so I figured out I'll just put this together. It's almost done anyways, and I'll put it out, and I guess, you know, you guys can come to your own conclusions, maybe take the benchmark results with a bit of a grain of salt. Um, and, uh, I, well, we'll discuss what you guys think about this in the comments, so... Uh, let's move on to the benchmarks I did do, and uh, let me talk about the results. Alright, let's start out with uh, most of the synthetic benchmarks here. Uh, 3D Mark 99, we have the two Latin uh, doing a, a bit noticeably better than the Athlon. Um, we have the opposite in 3D Mark 2000 and 2001 SE, where we definitely have the Athlon uh, taking a very noticeable lead in performance. Uh, again, it flops back around with PC Mark uh, 2K2, at least with the CPU benchmark. Um, we see the Tilatin ahead again. And then in the Final Fantasy 11 benchmark, I had uh, I had to set it to get you know, something decent. I did have to set it to low and bilinear uh, with the settings, uh, low resolution that is. And uh, there the uh, Athlon pulls ahead a little bit. Next we have some benchmarks. Uh, I'd use a different graph because the numbers on these are significantly lower than the synthetic benchmarks that are, you know, usually in the thousands. It counts using its points and scores and whatnot. Anyways, we have 3D Bench uh, 1C. This is a DOS and virtually identical. Uh, same with Quake. Uh, also, I did that in DOS. Results virtually identical. Uh, I think the Athlon pulls slightly ahead. Um, MDK2 at uh, 1024 by 768 again virtually identical <laughs> then we have PCP uh, bench at 320 by 200 uh, here we have the Talatin pulling ahead noticeably um, and then finally PCP bench 2.10 at 800 by 600 uh, virtually identical I think the Talatin pulls ahead by a very slight amount All right, so those are the benchmarks I did. I did 10 benchmarks. Now, out of those 10 benchmarks, actually, we had a tie with the Talatin system uh, winning five of them and the Athlon winning five of them. Um, now, some of them were very close. Some of those Talatin wins were only by a couple frames per second um, or score numbers. Um, so, I mean... I'm I'm not sure. Um, I, I my gut says I'd still have to say probably the Athlon, the Thunderbird, uh, 1.4 gigahertz, maybe a little faster. Um, I, again, I you really have to do more benchmarks because uh, it really does seem like it depends on the game or application. Um, so I think I, to really get something more definitive. I think you'd have to do a larger scale of benchmarks. I also didn't look at temperature. Um, I do believe the Athlon does run hotter. But what do you guys think? Um, i really like to hear your ideas on these CPUs, your experiences. Which ones do you think is better? Uh, which one do you think is faster overall? Uh, so please leave your comments in the comment section. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about these CPUs. Uh, also, if you're curious still about these uh, these motherboards, they will appear later on in a couple videos. Um, I have used them both in projects that I'm going to make videos about uh, coming up. Maybe one a little bit later than the other, but uh, I'll do some more de uh, information and details on the motherboards and probably touch on the CPUs again uh, there. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.